Welcome to the last part of Mrs. Splat's Hall of Horrors. We left off with Mrs. Splat demanding that Chewy eats the pea from her nose. Do you think she'll eat it? Let's find out. Splat was so frustrated she shouted vermin and thumped the wall with her iron fist. Dunk! A cloud of dust exploded across the room. Boosh! Everyone began coughing and spluttering. Ahem! 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 Splat strained to remove her fist from the wall, but she couldn't. Err! 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 Her fist was stuck there. She yanked and yanked and yanked, but it just wouldn't budge. Look what you have done to my blasted hand, child, she growled. The dinner lady pushed her foot up against the wall to act as a lever. She tugged and tugged and tugged before, bloop! Her arm popped clean out of the metal hand. No, shouted the dinner lady. Without her iron fist, Splat felt powerless. Not thinking, she unscrewed her wooden leg so that she could instil terror. Roll, roll, roll. She bashed the dining table with it. Boosh. That will be you next, vermin. If she had thought first, Splat would have realised that unlike the flamingo, she was unable to stand on one leg. A look of horror flashed across her face as she realised she had lost her balance. No! Plunk. Before she knew it, Splat was lying face down on the greasy floor of the dining room. Ouch! To make matters worse, her glass eye popped out of its socket and rolled across the floor. Roll. As she scrambled to her knee, her rubber ear dropped off. Thwuck. She picked it up and scared the children with it by sticking it right in their faces. Err! No! Help! Don't think I can't hear you, children, she roared. Now, vermin, eat that pea. No! shouted Chewie. In frustration, Splat yanked off her wig and threw it at the girl. Whoosh! Chewie ducked and it landed in the stew of the elderly history teacher, Mr Antiquette. Splash, excuse me, madam, he began. I think there's a hair in my stew. Still, the old man carried on eating. He actually enjoyed Mrs Splat's food, but he was the only one. The dinner lady was now half the woman she had been, having lost a leg, a hand, her wig, her left eye and her left ear. Still, she was coming straight for Chewie. You will eat my snot, you vermin, if that's the last thing I do. Oh no, I won't. As quick as a flash, the girl reached into her blazer pocket and pulled out a jumbo pack of bubblegum. The brand was Double Bubble, the most bubblesome bubblegum on earth. Once unwrapped, she stuffed the entire packet of Double Bubble into her mouth and began chewing like a maniac. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Then, as soon as she could, Chewie began blowing a bubble. Shh, shh, shh. No gum in the dining room, vermin, roared Splat from the dining room floor. But Chewie blew and blew and blew. Shh. First, the bubble was the size of a ping pong ball. Shh. Then it was the size of a watermelon. Spit that out at once. Shh. Next, it was the size of a globe. Shh. Eventually, it was the size of a hot air balloon. I am going to pop your bubble for the last time. Splat lifted up her finger to the bubble and tried to stab it with her dirty great nail. Jab, jab, jab. But instead of popping, the bubble enveloped Mrs Splat. In no time at all, the dinner lady was trapped inside it. Let me out, you vermin, let me out, she cried, slamming her hand against the wall of the pink bubblegum that imprisoned her. Thwack, thwack, thwack. I need all your help, kids, called out Chewie. Every single one of you. The children in the dining room all leaped to their feet. Hold the doors open, ordered the girl. The nearest two children to the dining room double doors did just that. The rest of you gather around me and blow. Blow? asked the littlest boy. Trust me, this will only work if we all do it. Three, two, one, blow. All at once, the children did what she said. They pursed their lips and blew as hard as they could. Whoosh! Together, the kids of Slop School created a gust of wind that was so powerful it blew the giant bubblegum bubble with Splat trapped inside it out of the Hall of Horrors. The dinner ladies all looked in wonder as their glorious leader floated past them. No! cried Splat, bashing against the wall of bubblegum. 
She tried to spit her false teeth out to make a hole. Splat. But the teeth bounced off the pink wall and whacked her right on the nose. Boink. Ouch, she screamed as she sailed through the doors and out onto the playground. Kids, follow her and keep blowing, ordered Chewie. Whoosh. Soon the kids had the bubble floating high in the air. Before you knew it, the evil Mrs. Platt was nothing more than a tiny pink dot in the sky. Goodbye, called out Dewey. Us vermin are going to miss you. All the kids laughed heartily. Ha ha ha. Right, now, let's order some pizza, shouted the girl. Yes, they all cheered. And that's the end of that story. What did you think? I hope you all enjoyed it. I definitely did. See you next time.